Hi, this is Millie Kay. It's Friday, July 7th, 2017. I'm down here at the Feather River, about 30 miles south of Oroville. And if you look straight ahead, Oroville's about 30 miles up that way. If you've watched my videos that I've taken in this same spot for the last four and a half months, you'll notice that the river's a lot lower. It's lower than you've ever seen it compared to all of my other videos. The river level today is between 38 and 39 feet. Down that way is where the river heads to Sacramento and flows into the Sacramento River uh, before it gets to Sacramento. And then across the way is where the Yuba River flows in. Let me show you some more of the riverbank here. There's a lot of more vegetation now. Today is about 102 degrees. Right now it's about 2 in the afternoon. And we're expecting a high of 109. The statistics for uh, the Oroville Dam, the Sea Deck website had been down for over a week, so I wasn't able to get the river releases for a while, but I could see that the river had been going down. Last time I was here on June 17th, the river releases were about 2,500 cubic feet per second, and the river level then was somewhere around 40, 41 feet. And today the river releases are about 1,500 cubic feet per second. As far as the stats up in Oroville, the reservoir level is about 811 feet, so that's below the bottom of the gates. Inflows and outflows match at about 5,000 cubic feet per second. We don't get all of the outflows down here. So the difference between the outflow and the river releases is about 3,500 cubic feet per second. And they either hold that in the, the after bay or it's released from the after bay to water customers through the canals up, uh, up off of the after bay. So let me walk down here a little bit. Well, let me show you here. All of this sandy area, as my regular viewers will know, used to be underwater. At one point during the releases they did from the main spillway for the last few months. A lot of vegetation. You can see the levee back there. You can see how much vegetation has accumulated since previous videos. There's a shopping cart. Uh, let me walk down here along the riverbank. Everything is really dried out now. Still crumbly areas. I'm sure these this bank here would crumble really easily. So let's see, I think that pretty well covers it. When the uh, river releases were not available on the Sea Deck website, I had noticed the river going down and now that I can access the stats again, I see that river releases had dropped all the way down to a thousand cubic feet per second toward the beginning of this month and now they've come back up and leveled off for a while. So I don't know how much lower they would bring it if this is 1500 cubic feet per second and if they lower it back down to a thousand you can imagine what the river level would look like. So we'll see. And right ahead here I always like to get a picture of this rock 
Let me go here. Straight ahead is the rock that was underwater earlier this year. You can see the relative size of the the uh, the whole area. So that's all for today. I really appreciate your views. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you later.